హలో ఫ్రెండ్స్ వెల్కమ్ టు ఈసీ అకాడమీ ఇన్ దిస్ లెక్చర్ లెట్ అస్ అండర్స్టాండ్ టైమ్ రివర్సల్ ప్రాపర్టీ ఆఫ్ డిఎఫ్టి లెట్ అస్ రైట్ దిస్ స్టేట్మెంట్ ఫస్ట్ ఇఫ్ డిఎఫ్టి ఆఫ్ ఎక్స్ ఆఫ్ ఎన్ ఈజ్ ఈక్వల్ టు క్యాపిటల్ ఎక్స్ ఆఫ్ కే దెన్ వి కెన్ రైట్ డిఎఫ్టి ఆఫ్ x of minus n mod n which will be equal to x of n minus n will be equal to capital x of minus k with mod n that can be written as capital x of capital n minus k so here x of minus n mod n represents the time reversal of x of n so time reversal operation of x of n can be represented like this so we can write this as x of n minus n this we understood in our previous topic where we can add mod value with this n value so if we add mod value with this n value it will be the n minus n so that is what we have written here so if we take the dft of time reversal signal then we should get x of minus k with mod n that is same as n minus k so we can write this equation as x of n minus k let us prove this proof let us take this value we will take the dft of x of n minus n will be equal to summation of n is equal to 0 to n minus 1 x of n minus n into e to the power of minus j 2 pi by n into k n this is similar to the formula of dft instead of x of n we have written it as x of n minus n so in place of x of n we have written it as x of n minus n now let us put m is equal to capital n minus n so from this we can write small n will be equal to capital n minus m now in this lower summation if we put n is equal to 0 at that case we will get m is equal to n and in upper summation n value is n minus 1 if we put n minus 1 here so it will be m will be equal to n minus n plus 1 so we can cancel out these two so we can say m will be equal to 1 so in the lower summation value will be n and per value of the summation will be equal to 1 now we will write the above equation as summation of m is equal to n to 1 x of m because n minus n is m so we will write that one here into e to the power of minus j 2 pi by n to k in place of small n we will write n minus m now we can write this equation as uh, summation of uh, we can interchange the summation value we can take the summation value as 1 to n m is equal to 1 to n so you can take summation from n to 1 it is same as taking summation from 1 to n x of m into we can split this exponential term so we can write e to the power of j 2 pi by n into k m because m is having negative value minus multiplied with minus it will be plus so it will be e to the power of j 2 pi by n into k m into e to the power of minus j 2 pi by n into k capital n if we cancel out these two n so we will be left out with e to the power of minus j 2 pi into k so this value will always be equal to 1 so this value will always be equal to 1 that's why we can write this equation as summation of m is equal to 1 to n x of m into e to the power of j 2 pi by n into k m into we are having 1 in place of 1 we will write a new term which is e to the power of minus j 2 pi by n into n m now this value 
is nothing but 1. So, instead of 1 we have written this value if you cancel out n n. So, the remaining term will be e to the power of minus j 2 pi into m. So, that value will be equal to 1. So, instead of 1 we have written this term. So, we can write this equation as summation of m is equal to 0 to n minus 1. So, if we start from 1 it will be up to n. If we start from previous value m is equal to 0, we can write this as n minus 1. So, that is what we have written here m value is from 0 to n minus 1 x of m. In these two term we can take e to the power of minus j 2 pi n as common. So, it will be e to the power of minus j 2 pi by n into we can write this value capital N. So, for this we can write it as minus k into m. This is similar to the formula of d of t. So, here in place of x of k we are writing the value as n minus k. So, we can write in place of k the value is n minus k. So, that is why we can write this as x of n minus k. So, we can say this equation will be equal to x of n minus k towards left hand side it is d of t of x of n minus n. So, this term we can write it as x of minus k with mod n. This is the time reversal property of d of t. Hope you have understood the topic. Thank you.